One Piece Chapter 1082 dropped earlier today, after a long wait, and fans couldn't be more than excited for the events that were set up. The chapters following break weeks are often more intense, and Oda certainly lived up to the expectations this week as well, adding another incredible chapter to the already amazing Egghead arc. This week, fans got to explore the Cross Guild in quite some detail. Their actions across the seas, as well as their planning for what they want to do next was tackled, and it was certainly interesting for the fans to witness. At the same time, One Piece 1082 also dove deep into the Revolutionary Army, and quite a few plot points related to that are likely going to bleed into the next few chapters, as all things do with One Piece, T-Bone's death. T-Bone was a Marine captain who was introduced to the fans before the time skip. He is the same person who ended up fighting against Zoro on the way to Eni's lobby and was utterly defeated. He also took part in the Paramount War, where he did his job as a member of the Navy. Following the time skip, T-Bone was promoted to the rank of Vice Admiral and, while that is great for his character, he ended up dying, as was revealed in One Piece 1082. The reason for his death was the ascension of the Cross Guild into power. The Cross Guild was recently established by the former warlords of the sea, Buggy, Dracul Mihawk, and Crocodile. Together, they issued bounties on marine heads and, now, the marines are hunted just like the pirates. On an island where people had no money to survive and no food to eat, T-Bone was eventually killed and handed over to the Cross Guild. In return, they got money as well as protection from Yonko Buggy. The death of T-Bone means that the Navy cannot stay quiet for too long. Sooner rather than later, they will have to move against the Cross Guild and, in doing so, try to crush them entirely. As long as the Cross Guild exists, the lives of the Navy and all those who they protect are in danger and surely, they cannot watch that happen or tolerate it. Buggy makes his move. Perhaps the most interesting part of One Piece Chapter 1082 came when fans got a deeper look into the Cross Guild. The Cross Guild is a very recent addition to the story, and, as such, fans do not know much about it and how it functions. However, One Piece 1082 saw fans get a clear look at how this organization works. The man who was responsible for killing Vice Admiral T-Bone met with Buggy and was offered protection as well as money. This is a clear indication that even common civilians end up moving against the Navy when they are pressed by the situation, and the Cross Guild has likely capitalized on this for quite a while now. Soon after, fans also got to see a look at the Cross Guild's flagship, which resembles Buggy quite a lot. Behind the scenes, Mihawk and Crocodile continued to torture Buggy and were discussing their next move. The two mentioned how they are starting to grow as a bigger threat in the world. However, emphasis was laid on solidifying their grasp and gaining more wealth, as well as power. Mihawk and Crocodile don't seem to have any particular goal other than just being strong and living a life where they aren't threatened by the Navy. However, Buggy had different ideas. Buggy still has ambition and is driven by it, even though the other two clearly are not. While he gave up on the One Piece long ago, in secret, his heart still desires it, and Buggy made this known in One Piece Chapter 1082. He announced to the entire Cross Guild that they would be moving against the other Yonko very soon, and that they are now aiming for the One Piece. Sabo's Return The final section of One Piece 1082 focused on the Revolutionary Army. On Mom Waro Island, fans were introduced to the vice captains of the army, and they certainly appear to be quite interesting characters with interesting names. The Revolutionary Army vice captains are Jayambal, Ahiru, Jeron, and Ashiano. The group were witnessing a ship approaching and, as it turned out, the vessel carried none other than Sabo. Following the incident of Lelugia, fans did not know what happened to him, and in this chapter, Sabo revealed to everyone that he was actually not on Lelugia but on a nearby island. Sabo is alive and well, and he has also managed to rescue quite a few of the civilians who were on the Lelugia. As soon as he arrived, he requested a meeting with Dragon and Ivankov and, there, he decided to let them in on the truth that he uncovered at the Holy Land of Marie Joys. This truth pertains to the sovereign of the world, Emu, as well as the death of King Cobra of Alabasta. 
From here onwards, One Piece is only going to grow more intense, and fans cannot wait for the next chapter already. And in other news, One Piece, six characters that can defeat Yonko Luffy. Luffy is one of the strongest characters in One Piece right now, and, after the events of Wano, he recently ascended to the throne of Yonko. Luffy is considered to be an extremely dangerous pirate. His straw hat crew is feared all over the world. While their beginnings were certainly humble, they have become a force to be recognized with. After all their years on the seas, only a handful of characters can ever hope to stand a chance against them in battle. Luffy, especially, is nearly unbeatable in combat, however. There are a bunch who might be able to pull this task off. Shanks. Shanks is one of the four emperors of the sea, just like Luffy himself. He is an extremely powerful pirate who relies on swordplay and hockey in battle. Shanks is the apprentice of the former pirate king, Goldie Roger and his battle prowess is certainly to be feared. In the recent Egghead arc, Shanks clashed against Kid and wiped out his entire crew in a single swing of his sword, despite their captain having a 3 billion berry bounty, which is equal to that of Luffy. This just goes to show that Shanks is on a different level altogether. While Luffy is certainly much stronger than Kid, and would not lose with a single swing of the sword. If Shanks does go aloud in an extended battle against Yonko Luffy, chances are that he will win. Blackbeard Blackbeard is one of the main antagonists of One Piece and an extremely powerful pirate in his own right. He ascended in the world of piracy after stealing the Yami Yami Nomi from Teach, the former 4th Division commander of the Whitebeard Pirates. After escaping from the crew, he marked the beginning of the Blackbeard Pirates and, in years, this crew has now become one of the Emperor crews of the One Piece world. Blackbeard also stole Whitebeard's Gura Gura no Mi and this fruit, combined with his darkness powers, makes him nigh invincible. He was able to defeat Ace before the two-year time skip and, after the time skip, he has only gotten much stronger. He recently clashed with Law after the events of Wano, and this fight will likely end in his favor as well. Given that he can nullify Luffy's powers as well as use the earth-destroying quakes, Blackbeard can certainly defeat Yonko Luffy. Dragon Luffy's very own father, Dragon is the head of the Revolutionary Army and also the world's worst criminal. Given the fact that he is the worst criminal in the world, his bounty is bound to be extremely high. Dragon commands a powerful force that is strong enough to rival the military forces of the Celestial Dragons. That is the vow he took months after the day O'Hara was destroyed. He has successfully established a mighty organization and, given that his subordinates are powerful enough to fight the admirals, Dragon himself must be a level above. Furthermore, Dragon is from the Monkey D family and fans already know the legendary status that Garp holds, as well as Luffy right now. It only makes sense for Dragon to be extremely overpowered, especially now that he is in his prime. He would certainly be capable of defeating Yonko Luffy, Sakazuki. Sakazuki is one of the main antagonists of the One Piece series, and a character who not many fans give the deserved credit. He was formerly an admiral of the Navy, and a character who most fans despise due to the events of the Paramount War. That said, Sakazuki is what a great villain should be a proper thorn in the path of the main character. Sakazuki hates pirates and believes in absolute justice. For this reason, he has changed the way the Navy works and is actively challenging the Yonko in the New World. Luffy is no exception and Sakazuki will eventually clash against him and his crew if given the chance. It must be remembered that he is an exceptional fighter who possesses the Logia type Magu Magu no Mi with the powers of the highest order. At the same time, the former fleet admiral also had access to Conqueror's Haki, so it wouldn't be a surprise to see Sakazuki wield this skill as well. The Gorosei, known as the Five Elders, are five mighty people who are the highest authority within the world government that the people know of. They are the highest of the celestial dragons, and their influence in the world is legendary. While it isn't known if they are fighters just yet, chances are that they possess battle capabilities, and this is suggested by the fact that one of them wields what could be the Shodai Kitetsu, one of the 12 supreme grade swords in the One Piece world. One of them, namely Saint J. Garcia Saturn, has recently descended upon the Blue Sea, and he is currently heading to Egghead Island, where he will undoubtedly come face to face with Yonko Luffy, who is also one of his biggest enemies. Emu Emu is the highest authority within the world government and also the entire world of One Piece. Their existence is completely hidden at this point, and only the Gorosei, along with a select few individuals, such as Sabo, 
know of their existence. Emu is likely very powerful, and they also seem to possess what could be an ancient weapon at their disposal. Using its powers, they were able to wipe out the kingdom of Lelugia within a matter of seconds. As such, Emu can kill Yonto Luffy if they so wish. For now, Emu and Luffy have not come face to face, however, eventually, they will meet, and it will certainly make for an interesting showdown. That's a wrap for this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more amazing videos very soon.